Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example is beginning to look quite complicated. That's why they call them complex fractions. We don't need to factor anything, but we do need to find all the denominators to, de to determine, wow, <laughs> I had to throw with that word, to determine what the lowest common denominator is. So let's circle all our denominators. So we have the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And notice that in this case it becomes obvious that the lowest common denominator is indeed the product of x minus 2 and x plus 1. So let's write that down. The LCD is x minus 2 times x plus 1. So now we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by that lowest common denominator. So we multiply this times x minus 2 times x plus 1. And the same with the denominator here, multiply it times x minus 2 and x plus 1. That's kind of a tiny little 1 here. There we go. Okay, when we multiply, notice if we multiply this times this, both x minus 2 and x plus 1 cancels out, and we're left with simply just a 2 minus. In this case, the x plus 1 cancels out, and we have 3 times x minus 2. In the denominator, Notice the x minus 2's cancel out. We're left with 1 times x plus 1. And here, both x minus 2 and x plus 1 cancels out, and we're left with a minus 7. All of a sudden, things look a whole lot less complicated. And if we then multiply everything out, we end up with 2 minus 3x plus 6 divided by x plus 1 minus 7. Collecting common terms, we get minus 3x plus 8 divided by x minus 6. And that's the final form of our complex fraction. And that is how it's done.